Welcome back to the Ermac Showcase coming to you from New Mexico Highlands University. China Smith is having one of the best seasons of any women's basketball player in the Armac this year. She's averaging more than 10 points and 10 rebounds per game, but her play on the court is perhaps overshadowed by what she does off the court. She's got a 4.0 in her master's program and is the legal guardian of her little brother. China Smith has found a home and a family here at Highlands. The journey to New Mexico Highlands has been a long one for China Smith. Coming from the neighborhood of Crenshaw in Los Angeles, where her dad was murdered when she was just eight years old. We were one big happy family, you know, and when he passed, it's, it's like our family passed. None of her siblings even graduated high school. It seemed that college would be a long shot. But China developed a talent that could not be ignored. She went to Division I Cal State Northridge on a basketball scholarship, but after the coaching staff was let go, she left Northridge and was unsure of where her future would be until she got a phone call. We didn't know if she would be interested in, in the move. Culturally, we knew it would be a shock for her. The size of the town, even the size of campus, we knew would be a shock for her. Cowgirls coach Tiffany Darling was looking to improve her team and thought a Division I transfer might help, but Las Vegas, New Mexico is a long way from Los Angeles. When I walked into the gym here and I seen Coach Darden and Coach Jessica and Coach Bridge, laughing with their players, you know, joking around and smiling. It's like, I miss that. Last year, China became the first member of her family to graduate from college. I was hyped. I was so excited. I was like, I'm graduating from college. Like I, like, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, maybe it's a dream. Maybe I'll be waking up soon. China has experienced what moving away from Crenshaw has done for her and was fearful of what might happen to her little brother, Will. She was like, China, I'm scared to walk from home to my bus stop because I am a young black boy and they, they don't care if you don't campaign. If you're not a part of them, they're gonna shoot you down. So China convinced her mom to let Will move with her to New Mexico and become his legal guardian. I laid down the rules of my apartment. <laughs> like You are to keep your room clean. You are not allowed to have more than one C on your report card. You have more than one, you're grounded off the top. Great kid, very polite, very well mannered, always addresses me ma'am, coach, looks me in the eye, shakes my hand, and that, that's China. I mean, China has really molded him into the young man that he is. China now balances taking care of her brother while working on her master's degree and playing basketball, but she wouldn't have it any other way. I'm happy. I find myself in a very happy place, and I don't plan on going back. I don't plan on looking back over my shoulders and going back to that place. I can never see myself going back to a dark place like that. I have light, so why go back? China and the Cowgirls starting off with a two and six conference record, and it didn't figure to get any easier with Adam State and Fort Lewis coming to town. The Skyhawks had beaten the Cowgirls 15 times in a row, a streak that dates back eight seasons. Fort Lewis coming in with a record of 7-4, and four, and early on it looked like smooth sailing for the Skyhawks. Erica Richards with the drive going off the glass. FLC leads 5-zip. Then it's Christy Groh with the left hand and the harm. She scores 12 in the first half. Hawks would lead by a dozen. Then the Cowgirls start to chip away. Jenny Johnson, nice pass to China Smith for the deuce. Then it's Leisha Crawford to Katie Gannon with the runner. Highlands takes the lead by one at the break. Second half. Alisa Lopez for three. She scores a team-high 17. Fort Lewis struggled from the field, shooting just 33%. But here, Richards cashes in the three, one of only two on the night for the Skyhawks. The Cowgirls counter, shooting 44%. Smith off the feed from Johnson. China scores 14 with 12 rebounds. Highlands up by eight. Everything going the Cowgirls' way. Shot clock winding down. Johnson hits from 30 feet. New Mexico Highlands beats Fort Lewis for the first time in 15 tries. Final, 74-63. We had to be scrappy and get more energy. They came out and had way more energy in the beginning. That's why we came out down 16, and then we turned it on and never looked back. The following night, Adams stayed in Las Vegas, New Mexico. The Grizzlies on a two-game win streak, but it's the Cowgirls continuing their momentum from the night before T.J. Manson for two. Highlands jumps out to an 8-0 lead. Michelle Blanton with a nice up-and-under move. She leads ASU with 14 in the first half. 
Angelina Sanchez comes off the Cowgirls bench to give them a boost. She gets the putback. Highlands up 36-23 at the half. Second half. Cowgirls come out firing. Leisha Crawford for three. Next time down the court, Dominique Lovato cashes in the three. Highland shoots 45% from three-point land in the second half and lead by more than 20. At one point, they lead by 28. They win 82-60. to We started out well, but we didn't play the game like we should have all throughout the game. So that's one negative thing that I think we could have done better on. Dr. Jim Freeze is the president here at New Mexico Highlands, a position he's held for seven years. He's provided stability in that position on campus, a campus that has grown and continues to grow. Dr. Jim Freeze, the subject of our RMAC presidential profile. Well, that's number five. Sergeant Love strips it. Sergeant Love will go to the left of the court and lay it up and in. It's a Friday night during the winter in Las Vegas, New Mexico, and Highlands President Jim Freeze takes his customary seat in the stands. Athletics is such an important part of, of uh, any, any college's uh, uh, environment. Uh, certainly it's an important part of college life here at New Mexico Highlands. Dr. Freeze has been the president here at Highlands since 2007. During that time, he's overseen quite a bit of change. We've, over the last several years, invested probably uh, roughly $90 million in capital improvements here on campus, uh, improving uh, both the aesthetics and the functionality of our facilities as a support base for our academic and other, other programs. While purple is the primary color on campus, Dr. Freeze has everyone seeing green. We got rid of all of our buried steam lines, for example. Um, you know, it used to be if you were cold in the winter, you could go out and, and get warm laying on the sidewalk in certain places, but that, that doesn't work anymore. Another area Dr. Freeze is proud of is saving green as in-state tuition at Highlands is averaging about $4,000, making it one of the most inexpensive four-year schools in the country. Our tuition and fees um, continue to be the lowest in the southwestern United States. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing is subject to a, a different interpretation. Dr. Freeze just ended a two-year stint as chair of the Armac President's Council, and he's still on the board. It was uh, informative for me to be able to visit a number of other campuses and see what the other schools were doing in terms of facilities, in terms of uh, the, the sports that they offer. And uh, we, you know, we're not above stealing a good idea here or there and, and seeing whether uh, it might fit appropriately uh, here at Highlands. We've seen a lot of emphasis on uh, trying to make sure that our student athletes uh, do have success in the classroom. Uh, I'm, I'm pleased with the kind of average uh, GPA that uh, we're achieving. There's room for improvement, but I think um, uh, it's, it's very positive. Still ahead on the showcase, it might be winter on the calendar, but spring sports are here. Coming up next, what is the destiny of the track and field program? Find out after the break. But first, here are academic award winners in RMAC women's basketball.